Hello everybody, welcome to the Dakman Production Studios and this is going to be my York update video so this is for the York 2024 Spring Show so for those of you who are going to the TCA Eastern Division York train show or considering it and especially if this is your first time uh, please uh, stay tuned for the rest of this video because there's going to be a couple of announcements and I'll give you some tips and stuff like that of York and what to expect. So first things first, uh, for those who uh, read my community post, uh, I made a post about important rule changes at the TCA Eastern Division show. So as most of you know, the TCA Eastern Division had brought me on as their official videographer for the York show two years ago. And when they first approached me, the first thing I asked is, how am I supposed to be your videographer if there's no photos or videos allowed to be taken? I heard this was your rule. And then they explained to me there is photography allowed in the purple, and orange holes only. So I agreed to that. And behind the scenes of me doing this, uh, over the last couple years, I've been pounding and pounding and pounding them, saying, hey, we need to change this, because in today's world, social media is a big thing, and how can you promote a show without showing it on the uh, social media networks such as Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever have you, in, we need to lax on this rule. There are certain things that people may not know about the TCA and how it works. Sort of reminds me of how the government works in a way, uh, in a good, better way actually. So what happens is one person cannot make a change within the TCA Eastern Division organization. So a person presents an idea, like myself, I became a TCA member, so I presented this idea, because one of the requirements of me becoming a videographer is I had to become a TCA member, which I did. And so now I can spin these ideas, okay, this is an idea, this is what I think we should do, eliminate the rules for... Uh, for photography and allow it in all the halls, not just only two, all across the board. Okay, so then we have to take it to the next step. So I present that to the president. Well, even the president himself just can't say, okay, we're going to do this, this is the new rule, no more, you know, we're going to make this rule change. So that has to get presented to a board, and it has to get voted on. So this is the way they work behind the scenes. And anybody who's a TCA member can attend these meetings. And they generally have them during the York show as well. So Bob went ahead. He's Bob Bueller is the president of the TCA Eastern Division. He presented this to the board, this idea of, okay, let's eliminate the rule of, you know, for this, this photography rule. Let's allow videos and photos in all the halls. And so you have to present to this panel why it's a great thing to change the rule and how it will benefit them. Happy news is that they voted to eliminate this rule and it was unanimously voted on. Everybody agreed to take this rule away. So now photography is allowed in all of the halls. Now I just got off the phone with uh, Bob Bueller, so hopefully you guys are watching. And so this is an important announcement. So this, the rule change was unfortunately done after the handbooks were given out. So, the handbook still says no photography, but it is um, 
photography is allowed. So with that being said, you know, I made some suggestions to Bob. Let's make up some signs to put in on the halls. Photography is allowed or make sure the hall captains know because this is all stuff that's going to be new to them. This is, so please be understanding that this photography thing is going to be new to TCA members who never been exposed to this before. And for somebody who's never been exposed to it, it can be very, very overwhelming. Yeah, of course, to a YouTuber like me, it's no big deal. But the, but the people who generally sell are, you know, it's it can be overwhelming and stressing. So the reason why I'm mentioning this is because even though the rules have been changed to allow photography... The TCA is asking those who are wanting to do video blogs and photography to please be respectful to the sellers and the vendors because they're not all going to want to be willing to have their stuff put on video. Please understand they still have that right to say no photography even though the TCA says there is. So for those who want to do these video blogs, uh, the TCA would like to have you ask the vendor or the, the person who's at the table if it's okay if they include their table of trains in their video. Again, I can't stress this enough. Even though the TCA changed the rules to allow photography, there could still be people who don't want photography, and that is still their, within their rights. Even for me, Dakman Productions, people know me as doing these video vlogs, as uh, many have called them, the younger generation calls them vlogs, of so me going to the train show, I call them train show tours, the younger generation calls them vlogs, so I... Even when I go to like a Greenberg show or I go to even Allentown as a, you know, I'm, I'm a guest of Allentown. I will have, there I will have a couple people who rather not have their stuff on video. And when they tell me, you know, please no video, I say not a problem. I respect you as a vendor and I move on. That's it. So, uh... Bob Bueller, the president of the TCA, did want me to mention that, uh, to please ask the vendors if they're comfortable with having their stuff on the video uh, when you go to the shows. So we got some exciting news uh, for the TCA. Uh, Nicholas Smith will be returning to the TCA Eastern Division show. Uh, for those who don't know, Nicholas Smith is in Broomall, Pennsylvania, so make sure you pay a visit to them. And speaking of hobby shops and vendors, if you are on the border, and I understand in this economy and times, it, it's very expensive. But if you can make it, please go. Because you get to see vendors and the hobby shops that you deal with in person. Now, there's people who think... Oh yeah, these these hobby shops, they must be making a killing off of going to this TCA show. Absolutely not. Um, I've been behind the scenes, and I've talked to them, I've been around them. I, I can tell you hands down, there's one reason why these hobby shops and vendors come to the train shows. And that's because of you. You people who attend the shows, they do it for you guys. Most of the time, these hobby shops, believe it or not, will be lucky to break even. And they do it because they want to see the people that buy from them and promote their store. So, alright, let's give you an example. So I'm a hobby shop and I want to go to the show. Well, I have this shop. So now i got to pack all these trains. So now i got to pay employees to pack up trains in my truck to go to the show. 
So I'm paying well, at least two guys, or two people, let's say, sorry. I'm paying two people to load up a truck, and it takes them four or five hours. That's four or five hours I could have had them doing other things in a store, but now they're taking things down and are packing them up to a truck. This truck doesn't isn't free to run. I have to have registration. I gotta have fuel, the tolls, the drive time, uh, somebody to drive the truck. So there's another expense. And then once I get there, I have to drive to the show and follow the truck. Once I get there, now you're spending an average of five to six hours again to take everything out of the truck and set it all up. That's a lot of labor. That's a lot of time. And then you got the hotel expense. And these hotels aren't cheap. I mean, you're talking about a very expensive venture. So, you know, you're close to $300 a night if you pick a suite. So you got, Wednesday, you know, they're there uh, early Wednesday. So you got Wednesday, after, uh, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday. So you got a three night stay in a hotel. That's not free. Um, and then on top of that, you got the cost of the tables. You know, the, the TCA just doesn't give you these tables for free. The TCA has to pay these huge costs to rent these buildings, which is astronomical. I mean, the, the, again, the TCA doesn't make a whole lot of money off of that. So what I'm saying is these hobby shops have to sell a lot of trains to pay for a trip and then their their own labor they, is pretty much free except for their employees they pay their employees but they, they don't pay themselves so like for me I, I can visit Nicholas Smith at any time because I live near them trains of things and Ewing is near me Henning's trains so there's like uh, trains of um, uh, just trains so there's like four stores that are near me that I can visit but I've never been to Train World. Well, Train World literally brings their store. So, so since I don't can't get to Train World, Train World comes to me at this show. And that's what's nice about this, Mr. Muffins. I'll probably never get to see his store. I'd always love to see his layout. But unfortunately, I don't, I don't see myself getting out there anytime soon. But Mr. Muffins comes to to the show. So he brings his store to the show, just like Grisbowski's. Uh, actually, I think Grisbowski's uh, brings more than what they have in our own store, because Grisbowski is pretty big. So you have your you have these hobby shops that you can visit uh, that they bring the store to you. Uh, so make sure, and, and I'm guilty of this too. So make sure when you see them. You let them know, hey, thanks for coming. I know this is a lot of work, but thanks for coming out. and I love seeing you guys out here. So just make sure you mention that to these hobby shops uh, so they feel like it was worth the trip to them. So now for, for the tips. So speaking of hobby shops, if, if you're looking for your favorite hobby shop, so you're going to want to go to the Orange Hall. Is your what they call the the manufacturers hall. So you're gonna have uh, Train World in there. You'll have Gusbaskis. You'll have um, you also have uh, a ton. There's just a ton. <laughs> My mind's drawing a blank all of a sudden. But yeah, there's a, a lot, there's a lot of hobby shops, Mr. Muffins, um, that you can visit, and they have different products and stuff. Now, now what a lot of people are are are, are going to comment. And I'm just going to hit this, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about this, just a little bit, touch on it. Lionel, uh, people are, are like, oh, I, I, I wish Lionel would come back. Well, we all do, okay? But, in the same token, uh, I'm still going to go to the show whether Lionel is there or not. And I hope that you do too, because... Even though we want Lionel there and they're not, uh, you still have these dealers or hobby shops, Mr. Muffins, Train World. You have all these dealers at Grisvowski's that can answer your Lionel questions. Because let's face it, you know, Lionel, 
even if they were there, they can't sell you the product directly. But you would have to go to the hobby shop to buy the product anyway. So uh, there's great reputable dealers there that would be able to answer your line of questions. And let's hope they come back in the future. But Atlas O will be there. Uh, MTH is going to be there. So that's exciting. So here's your tips. There's going to be people who are looking for used trains. And I'm going to give you the places to go. So when you get the TCA and you're looking for that special modern piece. Now I'm not talking about post or MPC. When I'm talking about modern, I'm talking about MTH Proto 1, Proto 2, Proto 3, Lionel TMCC, Lionel Legacy, Atlas O with TMCC in it. So I'm talking about that kind of stuff. So if you're looking for that kind of stuff, stop in Orange Hall and this is a list of the top people you're going to want to see. So this is a list of what I call resellers. These are vendors that buy collections and to resell them to us. Um, so here's the list. So you have trains with a Z dot com um, Scott Griggs they always got a big huge section up against the wall a big huge truck and they fill it to the from the floor to the ceiling and Trains with a Z has everything from locomotives to rolling stock such as freight cars, passion cars, they got a big variety of manufacturers, I've seen everything from Atlas O, Sunset, uh, Valley, uh, you, thir Third Rail, you name it, they, they, they would have it there. Then you have Trains and Things in Ewing, New Jersey. Tony brings a lot of collections with him too. Uh, usually he's down the same row from Trains with a Z towards the back. So make sure you check out Trains and Things from Ewing, New Jersey. And he's got some, he's always getting in collections just about every day. So you never know what he's going to come up with. Bob's Trains for You. As you walk into the front of the Orange Hall, um, Bob's Trains for You is on that corner. Bob is a big reseller in uh, modern day O Gauge Trains as well. MTH, Lionel. Rolling stock, passenger cars, Bob's got a lot of choices, and Bob's willing to make a deal. Matter of fact, he wants to make a deal with you. And then you have Vince's Trains, that's another one that has quite a bit of used locomotives, uh, usually in pretty good condition from what I've seen. Uh, people really loved the video that I did that included Vince's trains and they were wondering how do I contact this guy because he had so much great stuff uh, he had up for sale and I'm super excited for this show and you know if you guys watch my videos from the TCA or haven't yet I would highly suggest that you go back and watch my TCA videos matter of fact I'll put a link to the playlist of TCA videos in the video of description of this one for those who are like oh, I've never been there I would like to see what it's like so click on that link and it'll take you to a huge playlist of TCA videos and I'm sure once you see what's there you're gonna want to go matter of fact here's a message from Kevin Quinn who shortly will be the TCA national president so here you go. What do you have to say, Kevin? Come on out to York, all you guys out there who are watching. I'll keep it clean. <laughs> Get your butt to York. So there's your message from Kevin. Uh, he wants to see you out there too. The TCA will be out there. He did mention during the Mecca video that I created that uh, the TCA Museum, uh, Train Collectors Museum will have an open house on Wednesday, I believe he said. Also, um, people who have seen my uh, videos will see that I have done interviews. So I bet you guys are wondering, has anybody done an interview with Dak Band Productions? Have I ever been on 
any YouTube channel for an interview. Why, yes, I have. The Train Shop Weekly featuring Bill Henning, Harry Henning the third, and Walter Herbine, who I love to tease to death about Reading versus Conrail, but we'll leave that for another video. Uh, great group. If you haven't already, check out uh, the Train Shop Weekly, which is done right at Henning's Trains in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Uh, they do cool videos on what's new coming into the, the shop. Uh, I see they expanded it from O gauge to include H O and N, so they are they are expanding that uh, a little bit. So they'll they'll show some O gauge, they'll show, show some H O and N. They'll talk about different books and stuff, and they they put on a good show. So I I love watching that show, so I highly recommend it. And so Walter Herbine of the Train Shop Weekly. And you'll see, we'd love to go back and forth again, Colorado versus Reading. And Walter uh, does an interview with me, and it was actually featured on the Train Shop Weekly when they returned from York. So here it is. Check out this interview from the Train Shop Weekly done by Walter Herbine. So, yeah, that, so that was fun. I did an interview. With you. Did you? Who'd you interview? No, Sean interviewed him. Oh, Sean, yeah. yeah. Let's see. Well, we, we uh, can, I interviewed we can watch. Sean. Well, yeah, I think I got that on there. We can watch that. Hold on one second. Well, look at here. What do we find? Mr. C. Ray himself. Look, he's all happy. Got himself a new Conrail t-shirt. A new blue Conrail t-shirt. Yeah. That's right. I had to replace the old one. And this is the, the color that Walt should remember his trains becoming Conrail. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. What else you got in the bag there, Mr. Sean there? Well, I have a uh, a gift that somebody gave me. A Conrail caboose out of uh, Dover, uh, New Jersey. There's a uh, special story behind that. I won't give it away yet, but this will I'll tell the story behind this on my channel, Back Band Productions. And then we have, I decided uh, for tomorrow's YouTube meet and greet, I bought myself a TCA shirt. Ah. Yeah, to support the TCA as the official videographer for the TCA Eastern Division. So I bought that. For tomorrow's event. Ah, I see. Yeah. That's right. You, you're a special kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what you mean by special, but. <laughs> well, you do like Sea Rail. <laughs> that takes a special kind of person. <laughs> but it's always good to see you, Sean. Good to see you, too. All right, man. You have fun. Don't spend too much money. All right. Yes, yeah, so that was pretty fun. Good interview. Yeah, uh, yeah. Check out me, me and Sean get along really great. We just, just, just like busting each other's shoes. So as you can see, um, that was uh, the interview. Uh, again, me and Walt love going back and forth with each other. We're actually, people actually thought, you know, we're like real these real enemies, and even though he likes writing, I like. Conrail, he likes MTH, I like Lionel. We actually get along really well. We're, we're good friends because we respect each other's choices and that's what it's about. I would like to thank Bill Henning for allowing me to use that clip from the Train Shop Weekly. And for now, I hope to see you guys at York. Uh, I had people ask me, Dak Man or Sean, is the TCA having you come back again as the official videographer? And the answer to that is yes. I'm excited. I'm coming back. Uh, I'll be there behind the scenes again uh, starting Wednesday with the pre-show. I'll be now that the buildings are all open. Because usually I was only between the Purple Hall, the Orange Hall, and the Black Hall. So... You know, I was bouncing around between those three, but now I got the whole entire place. <laughs> so you never know. Most of my time will probably be spent in Orange Hall, but I hope to run into you guys 
and, and uh, say hello. And speaking of Black Hall, the Black Hall will once again be dedicated to the Standard Gauge module guys. Great group of guys. If you like Standard Gauge trains or don't even know what Standard Gauge is, pay them a visit. And that hall is, the Black Hall is open to the public. Speaking of the public, the TCA Eastern Division show is just not for members. If you are public, you can still attend the show Friday and Saturday, but you're limited to the Orange Hall, Purple Hall, and Black Hall only. However, if you change your mind, and if you plan it just right, shh, don't tell anybody I told you the secret, but I don't think the TCA wants you to know this, but if you plan it just right, you can get a trial membership. Instead of paying the full price, get a trial membership for $20, which covers you for six months. Which means if you get the trial membership at the day of the spring TCA show, that will cover you for membership for a fall show. So all you'll have to do is buy a ticket and then you'll have access to all of the buildings. But shh, that'll be our secret. But remember, that trial membership is only a one-time use. So next year, they're going to know that you did that, and they're going to want you to join. But at any rate, so <laughs> it gives you an inside look of the benefits of being a TCA member, which, by the way, if you do join the TCA, it gets you into the museum for free. Oh, wow. But anyway, hope to see you guys there. This video is long enough. Catch you guys later. Catch you trackside. Catch you at the show. Goodbye.